Hi there. Now for this question, we're asked to work out the area of this sector AOB. And in order to do that, you've got to be familiar with the area of a sector formula when the angle theta is given in radians. And that formula, remember, was a fraction, theta over 2 pi, of the area of a complete circle, pi r squared. The pi's cancel, leaving you with the formula that the area is a half r squared theta. So we don't know the radius, we don't know the angle theta yet. We can work out the radius, distance AO, quite easily because we already have worked out the length OD in the previous part of the question. We found that to be 7.5 centimetres. So to get the length AO, it's just a simple case of 12 centimetres minus the 7.5 centimetres. And if you do that, we end up with 4.5 centimetres. So that's the radius. Now we need to get this angle AOD. And that's easy as well because we should be familiar with half a turn. That's pi radians. We've got the angle here of 0.4. So therefore, we've just got to take that away from pi radians. So we've also got the angle AOB. In radians, that's going to be pi minus 0.4. And if you do that on your calculator, you should end up with 2.7415 and so on. OK, and that be measured in radians. You can either work, write the word radians or you could use the symbol C. Now, we've got that. So we're in a position to work out the area of the sector. So I'll just put a little intro here area of sector and that's the sector a o b and if we pick up then on this formula here it's going to be a half times the radius squared which is 4.5 squared and then we have got times the angle and the angle we've just seen is 2.7415 and so on radians you don't need your calculator in radians mode, OK? You can just work it out in a normal mode. And if you do that, you should find you get 27.758 and so on. And if we were to give this, say, to three significant figures, then it would be 27.8. And the units would be centimetre squares. And we'll just say that that's to three significant figures. OK?